Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions, and today I'm gonna to tell you guys how you can get a quick start in IT. I know I've talked about some of this stuff before, but I really wanna nail it home so that you guys out there who are looking to step foot into this field know and understand what it can take to actually get into this field, because in all reality, it can be a lot easier than you think it is. Before we get into today's video, I wanna let you guys know that this video is sponsored by quickstart.com. If you guys are looking for IT training, I highly suggest checking these guys out. We will talk about them more in future videos. They offer a free seven day trial to their platform over there. They have over 1200 courses that specifically relate to IT. So if you're looking to hone your skills, to make yourself better and more valuable, make sure you guys check out the link in the description below, join their free trial, and I hope you enjoy it. So getting to this big question, how do you get a quick start in IT? I know we're using a great play on words right now with our sponsor today. However, I do get this question very often. What's the quickest way? And there are a few answers and it's really important to let you guys know that there's no right or wrong way necessarily. Everybody has their own specific journey that they've taken to get into this field. So whatever route that you take, can be successful for you. However, here's a few things that you can definitely utilize towards your advantage because when you're first looking to get in this field, having an advantage is definitely going to be very helpful for you as I'm sure you can imagine. I've talked before about having customer service skills, people skills, and applying for everything. These are essential to really help you gain an advantage. Not necessary by any means with the customer service or people skills, but just having those can help you. Definitely applying for everything is something that you should be doing no matter what. No matter how many years of experience they are asking for, no matter what types of specific skill sets they're looking for, if you happen to meet like 25% of the criteria for a job description, apply for it anyway. And when you see all those years of experience that are required for an entry level job, throw it out the window, ignore it because it's ridiculous. Apply for everything. I know I've said this a million times, but like I said, starting out this video, I wanna make sure I drill this home for everybody. And if you are new to this channel, I want you guys to really understand this. Now here is where you really can help build an advantage for you. And we're gonna mix these up here a little bit, but of course, the first one is always going to be get certified. Now you don't necessarily have to have a certification before you start applying for everything. You should be at least looking or attempting to get a certification. So if you're studying for your A+, make sure you guys have that on your resume because it's very, very important. But getting a certification will always help open up doors. Now I have on here proven skills. Maybe you've never worked in IT before. So how do you have proven skills. And that is simply by building your own home lab, guys. Like that is something that is extremely easy to do. Anybody can do it. If you have access to a computer, you can virtualize everything. And it makes it very easy to understand some of these technologies when you can actually virtualize it from your own computer. So make sure you guys are building skills that you can then document and deliver to these potential employers. So when you are building your own home lab, document every single step of that process and make sure you have that documentation easily accessible. So building a website even, putting stuff out on GitHub, having any type of documentation to back up the skills that you are learning is going to be so incredibly huge for you. And again, you don't need to get certified to start building your own home lab. You don't really need any type of experience beforehand. You can start building your own home lab right now and really start diving into building Windows servers, building different Linux boxes, even virtualizing networking equipment to help understand how Cisco networking equipment and fundamentals work. It's really not that hard to do, but proving that you have these skills and actually documenting those skills is going to be a huge advantage for you. Again, drilling this home for everybody who need to hear it, who haven't heard this before. Maybe you've heard this before, but you just, you need to hear it again because these things are important if you're really trying to get into this field. I truly hope that this video helps some of you out there who are confused on what process to go through to get into this field. These are really simple steps that you can take to help gain that advantage 
to your first job or to even advancing your career in IT. And of course, if you guys are looking to hone in your skills more or learn new technologies and you're looking for a great platform that can help you learn all of this, make sure you guys check out the link in the description for quickstart.com. You guys get access to over 1,200 courses. They offer everything from CompTIA, Cisco, Microsoft, and so much more. Sign up for a free seven day trial and let me know what you guys think. That's it for today's video. As always, take it easy.